This is item number 37 in the released spring 2014 test items for Tennessee, and of course, Algebra 1. Uh, the question says which fraction is equivalent to the square root of 9 over 25 plus the square root of 16 over 144. The nice part of this question is that if you know the squares, you know that each one of the numbers, numerator and denominator, are all squares. So that's a good thing. So I'm going to sort of treat this like this, and this, and this, and this. So square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 25 is 5, plus square root of 16 is 4, square root of 144 is 12. So all I need to do is combine these together, you know, find a common denominator, that sort of thing. So I'll do 60 as my common denominator. So 5 times 12 gives me 60. 3 times 12 gives me 36. 12, oops, I don't know why I wrote 12 there. Let's write 60. Uh, 12 times 5 is 60, 4 times 5 is 20. So I add those together. 36 and 20 gives me 56. And then I just need to go ahead and reduce it, which really isn't, you know, whatever. It's not the hardest thing in the world that you'll ever do. So, because 4 goes into both of them, and you get 14. If I can get the pen to work, 14 <laughs> over 15. So right there. Now, what if you don't, you don't want to go through all that trouble and you have a nice fancy graphing calculator? You win. Another victory for people who have graphing calculators. Seems a little unfair, but whatever. Um, I can't judge the situation. It's just a way of life. So the square root works just like that. And you can actually use the fraction menu to put a fraction in. 9 over 25. Click out to make sure that the little bar goes back in if you're using this or you know adjust for your own calculator but if you don't it's going to continue to stay under there and that could be a problem um, square root of uh, the other fraction 16 over 144 14 or 15 so there it is uh, either way you want to use it uh, go for it. It's not that hard to do if you don't have a calculator either, but it's probably a good idea to know your squares ahead of time. Uh, and if you don't, might be a good idea to make a little note on the side if you're not using something where you could just do this. But if you see a square root, it's probably a good idea to write your square. So think in your head 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 5 is 25, 36, um, 7 times 7 is 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, uh, 169, you know, on and on and on, 196, however many you need to make. But just give yourself a resource to use. That way it's really easy to see, you know, well, oh, so 9 is 3. You know, it might make it easier on you to do that. But that's it. Not a big deal.